One of the landmarks, I guess, was uh, Loma getting in the UFC. And, you know, it seems like a while back now. She's had a few fights since then. Do you think that door's open now for other ties to get there? Now that we've had one, are we going to see another follow? And do you think it's likely to be another female or, or, or a male fighter coming through? Um, yes, I think that uh, we definitely... Um, obviously Loma's, you know, knocked down the doors for Thailand to be into the UFC. Um, and I think that we will see, uh, I don't know how long it will be, but I think that we will definitely see, uh, more ties getting into the UFC. Um, for me, that is one of like, you know, for myself, for my brother, for Alex Shield and Emilo, those are like, uh, we, we all are very partial to Thailand. Uh, you know, my wife's Thai and, We've all lived here for a long time, and um, and I want to see nothing more than you know uh, Thailand succeed in the UFC at the highest level because this country just has such a fighting spirit and so many you know great Muay Thai fighters, and it's just it's part of their culture. Um, and I don't think the rest of the world really understands like without coming here and seeing seeing that you know obviously everyone knows of Muay Thai, but there's just so much such a rich culture and, and history of, of fighting in Thailand. Um, and I think that the, I think in the, you know, the six years that I've been here, uh, the knowledge of MMA has vastly changed amongst Thai people. You know, they, with different promotions, like one championship and stuff. And obviously now Loma being in the UFC, it's bringing more spotlight, uh, to MMA. And I think that we will see more fighters. I would say probably add some ideas of, you know, people who could be into the UFC soon, uh, I would say probably males or a male, um, but hopefully we get more. There's such a young crop and young generation of, of Thai kids that are, you know, that do know what MMA is. And, you know, that even that I'm around here in, in Phuket that, you know, kind of want to want to dabble in it. They're still fighting. They're still young in Muay Thai and stuff. Um, but they know what it is, and they enjoy coming and watching the other guys train, like the other top fighters that we have that are fighting MMA. They enjoy watching them train. So, um, And then I have uh, a batch of kids in, in Buriram and in Isan uh, from Loma's gym and from uh, Frances, uh, from her gym, Warwatana. Um, so I think that uh, – I think it's just important that um, – not only Thai people, but especially the next generation of fighters that are Thai, uh, they understand what MMA is and they, uh, they realize, you know, that it could be very impactful to their life, you know, for making money and their family. Because let's be honest, like, you know about Muay Thai. I mean, in the West, we fight because we want to compete and things like that a lot of the time. And here, people don't fight because they want to. They fight because they have to. They have to, you know, it's literally putting money on the table for their families. So... Uh, yes, I, to answer your question, uh, yes, I, I do think that we will see some more ties in the UFC. And I think it's just going to be a work in progress. I think it's going to take time. Um, but eventually it'll, you know, it'll, it'll happen rap, more rapid. Um, but I think it will take some time. What's life been like in terms of you and your colleagues just getting hit up? Because uh, you see those photos of like classes of 50 a hundred people. It looks massive. And uh, I remember when Khalil went on uh, Joe Rogan and Joe Rogan's been kind of waxing lyrical about how his game was transformed by going to Tiger, going to Thailand, sharpening his Muay Thai. And I imagine that would have created a bit of buzz over in the States. Do you get people hitting you up all the time? And have you noticed kind of Tiger explode a little bit in the last few years? Uh, yeah, I would say that like definitely anytime anyone goes on Joe Rogan, it's going to uh, you know, bring a lot of attention to the gym. But I think that, uh, I, obviously, you know, Khalil has brought a lot of attention, especially after that fight, you know, during the commentating that during the fight that was going on. Um, so yeah, no, it's definitely, you know, after that fight brought a lot of attention to the gym and then after him going on Joe Rogan. But I think that, uh, really in the last two years, I would say, uh, there has been, a lot more fighters, you know, wanting to come from the UFC and other big promotions, wanting to come to, to Tiger to, to prepare for fights and stuff like that. Um, so, and, and we have a, another couple of UFC fighters that are, you know, have been training out of Tiger. They're not here right now because they had to go home uh, for the 
obviously because of what's going on with the, the COVID-19 and stuff, um, that are scheduled to fight or were scheduled to fight soon. Uh, but who knows what, if that will happen. But there's there's some other names that are you know will come out in the future that have been training at Tiger and stuff like that. So I'm excited about that. And just, um, yeah, I think that it's it's definitely, I would say in the last couple of years has, has definitely grown. And I think people see... Uh, you know, other fighters see guys coming through Tiger and having success and, uh, you know, they want to find out and and then they just, it kind of, you know, people see each other or see people training at Tiger and then fighting and having good results and uh, that just kind of breeds more people wanting to come out here.